welcome to the GA Winter and Sun warm up show, talking a little Wapakoneta Redskin football. With me right now, first year head coach Travis Moyer. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. You've, uh, you're new to Wapak, but you've been around coaching for a while. You were at uh, Winford for a few years. How does your, uh, your first year in getting ready for uh, Wapak football compare with your first year at Winford? Well, it's a little bit different for the fact this time around I have 13 years of coaching experience with uh, Winford being my first job. Uh, you know, I was very fortunate to be the head football coach there for 13 years, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better situation in terms of starting my career there. And uh, uh, But I am excited to be here uh, for this new challenge. You had a terrific run at Winford, 58 regular season wins in a row. You come into a Wapak program that has had a lot of success. They've had more wins in this last four-year period than at any time in school history. How... Uh, how, have, how has that set you up for success and how has that really set the expectations for, for you and for the Redskin football program? Well, you know, nothing's really changed. You know, we have extremely high expectations and, uh, you know, our goal is to uh, win a league championship, make the state playoffs and ultimately win a state championship. And, uh, you know, we want to continue to build on what they've started here and uh, uh, to, to meet those expectations and those goals. A lot of really pound the rock last year was Wapak's offense. Uh, is that going to change this year? Are you going to incorporate some more passing? Is the offense going to change it all under you? You know, our base offense is going to be a wing tee, the same offense that they've ran here in the past, and uh, we want to try to build off that. Uh, you know, we've challenged our guys. Uh, you know, our, we really like to be in a situation where we run the ball 60% of the time and throw it 40% of the time, and, uh, you know, as long as we have wide receivers and running backs and quarterbacks get, that can throw it and catch it and meet those expectations of what we expect, and, uh, you know, we'll do that. It, I truly believe to be successful offensively that you have to be balanced, and the more people that we can get involved in our offense and, and the diversity diversity of our offense, the better off that will be tougher to defend. You've got a lot of guys coming back, a lot of offensive strength in uh, Jared Smith, Keaton Metz, Cody Morgan. How are those guys helping out that experience with maybe some of the guys who are just now for the first time getting some more experience on the offensive side of things? You know, obviously it, it's, it starts with them, you know, in terms of that experience. And, uh, you know, there's no substitute for experience. And, uh, you know, fortunately us, for us, we do have a number of guys returning. And, uh, you know, obviously they're helping those younger guys that are stepping in for the first time. You know, uh, Wapakoneta had a great senior class last year. And, uh, you know, so we have to replace those guys. And uh, we have a lot of guys that are working hard to replace them. There's been a lot of talk on you guys nine and two last year, a terrific campaign for Wapak. Um, lost to Springfield Shawnee in the first round. You talk about WBL stuff, of course. Do you think about getting back to the playoffs? Is that something that even enters your mind in August, or are you just working on getting the team together? Well, you know, it's it, like I said earlier, it's one of our goals to make the playoffs. And, you know, for us to do that, it starts week one. And, uh, you know, it, uh, unfortunately for football, it's the only sport you have to earn your way into the uh, postseason. And, uh, you know, so we understand the importance. You know, week one is just important as week 10. So, uh, you know, if we want to have any success, obviously we have to get off to a great start. And talk about the defense a little bit. You guys have eight starters returning back on defense. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of kids to bring back. How is that benefiting of uh, getting into camp so far and getting ready for the season. Yeah, like I said earlier, anytime you have experience, obviously that helps. And, uh, you know, fortunately for us, we do have a number of letter winners back. And, uh, you know, the one thing we are, we are switching schemes, well, which is a little bit different. And, you know, from that standpoint, there's been a little bit of a process. And, uh, you know, we just have to continue to learn each and every day and, and get better. And, uh, you know, the one things we challenged our kids with this summer was during our July practices, the hustle, listen, and learn. And, uh, you know, our kids have done a great job at that. And we just have to understand there has to be a certain sense of urgency to get better each and every day a lot of things are going to stay the same as you've said to the average Wapakoneta fan looking on the outside are they going to see or notice anything different when the Redskins start here in a couple weeks uh, you know obviously we want a team that uh, you know we want a perfect first class program on the field and uh, you know obviously we want a team that uh, plays the game the right way and and does things right the right things on and off the field and uh, you know that's our expectation and uh, you know we're, we expect to go out and compete at a high level each and every week and uh, you know give our kids an opportunity to win championships. You guys are gonna have a fast start to the season your first three games are on the road first of all talk about is there any type of like different preparation when the first three games your kids play are all on the road and you don't see a home crowd until mid-September does that change your approach at all? Uh, it doesn't change our approach because we understand that for us to get a week, there has to be a sense of uh, uh, preparation each and every game because, you know, week one is just as important as week two. And, uh, you know, the thing we've challenged our kids is, you know, to have that uh, steadiness in terms of con 
consistency in our work ethic each and every day. And, uh, you know, like you said, we've got a major challenge in front of us for, you know, our game number one is obviously on the road, and that's the one we're focused on now. But, uh, you know, anytime you go on a road, obviously you're going into a hostile environment, and, uh, you know, we, have, we know we have to play at a high level. Some of those three games are very tough. Well, you say they're all tough. Bell Fountain, at Kenton, and at Elida. As a coach, do you like having the top part of your schedule so difficult, or does it really matter to you? I think it's a situation where there has to be a certain sense of urgency to get better right away. And uh, you know, like we talked earlier, it's not like you can have a situation where you can play a few games to get yourself ready for the league or anything like that. You know, obviously we're going to be thrown in the frying pan early this year and uh, ch challenged early. And, you know, we have to be ready for that. And, you know, like I said earlier, you know, and I've said a number of times, there has to be a sense of urgency to get better each and every day because, you know, we've got some very difficult games right up front. Talk about some of the, um, the newcomers to the team because you've got a lot of young talent and you've seen some guys that are pretty promising. Talk about them real quick, anyone that's jumping out to you. Well, you know, obviously we have a number of kids that have fit that role. And, uh, you know, it's for us to identify kids and, and to make sure that we are getting better. And, uh, you know, like we've told our kids, don't blend in. You know, we've challenged them uh, to be in a situation where you don't blend in because we can't, we can't afford to have those guys that blend in. You know, we need guys that step up and going to make plays and uh, make difference in football games for us so you know those are the guys that we're looking for right now head coach travis moyer thanks for sitting in with us thank you so much for having us when we come back mark coons will sit down with some of the wapak redskins when we come back on the ga winster and sun warm-up right here on wosn Welcome back to the GA Windsor and Sun warm up as we continue to warm up for the football regular season. Talking now with the Wapkoneta Redskins and joined now by Cody Morgan on the end, Quinn Lotridge in the center. And Quinn, you guys had a great year last year, finished second in the WBL, made the postseason once again. But now you start all over again. Travis Moyer coming in as the new head coach. What, uh, what have you seen from Coach Moyer so far? Uh, it's a lot what we saw in the past. It's a lot of he can get after you and really try to get the best out of you. I think we've really been responding well. Cody, we, we've seen a renaissance of Wapkoneta football the last couple of years. Is it more than just having one person as the head coach? Was the program really built in the last couple of years to sustain Wapkoneta for success? Yeah, I think uh, in the when we when Coach Fry came here, he installed the mental part and the mentality of winning in that. And I think with Coach Moyer, he can build on top of that because the mentality is stored in the program. Now it's the strategies and the game plans and that. And I think Moyer can build on that. Quinn, what was the summer like for you guys? <clears throat> oh, the summer, it was good. We uh, lifted a lot and ran and really got after it. A couple of weeks before the opener at Bell Fountain, Cody, and what do you need to work on between now and then? Uh, me personally is making reads, throwing the ball and that. And then as a team, I think we need to step up every day in practice. We need to compete at a championship level every day in practice and not let it slip. Quinn, that game at Bell Fountain, they've got field turf now. You guys are used to field turf at Harmon Field. What is the difference between playing on field turf and, and, and natural grass? Uh, on the turf, it's a lot more. You can cut better. It doesn't hurt as much when you hit usually, but it's a lot better. Cody, what are some of the goals for this year's team? Uh, the goals for this year's team, and number one, it's got to be win a WL championship. I mean, we've been working at that since Quinn and I were seniors now, and that's the ultimate goal right there. And then obviously playoffs and state championship someday. Quinn, looking at the WBL this year, a lot of coaching changes, a lot of, I think, question marks throughout the league. Do, do you think there's a favorite in the Western Buckeye League, or is clearly Wapkin out of the favorite? No, I think everybody's working hard, and everybody's trying their best right now, so we'll see at the end. Obviously, Cody, you guys are, are going to miss Zach Schmergy this year. You're going to miss Kyle Gonnerman, two of your, you know, the Western Buckeye League lineman of the year, Western Buckeye League back of the year. What did you learn from those guys as leaders, as, as football players, that, that you can carry forward and, and use to, to help this year's team? Um, I mean, Zach Schmergy and Kyle Gonnerman, they're irreplaceable. I mean, they were, they were great leaders. They took me under their wing, being an underclassman, and they showed me the way. And I mean, I can learn from them. To be, uh, to be coachable, they were coachable guys, and to lead others in the right, right way. All right, we're gonna need to take a break here on the GA Windsor and Sun warm up. When we come back, more from the Redskins here on WOSA.
Welcome back to the warm-up presented by GA Windsor & Son. It's third down as we talk with two more Wapkoneta seniors, Blake Fenning and Adam Henderson. And Blake, you're on the offensive line. Were you pleased when you heard what type of offense Travis Moore is going to bring to the Redskins this year? Yeah, I, I love to I love to do the runs and uh, I just we're learning more on passing now and uh, we're just getting better at that every day and uh, just going hard to work. Adam is tough physical football now part of the Wapkoneta DNA. Yes, um, I mean, it was physical last year, but it's still a big part of our offense this year. We'll just be throwing the ball a lot more. Adam, you've been through two-a-days for several years now, a couple of two-a-days under the belts now. What do you do to get through the grind? What do you do to try and keep things light during those breaks during two-a-days? Um, I think the biggest thing to do is just be enthusiastic. I mean, we're out here. We're going to be out here for a long time, so the best thing is to have fun, just have fun with it, and I mean, we're with all our friends, so just have fun, go hard. Blake, what do you think the strengths of this year's team is going to be? Uh, hard work, hard work, and uh, just having the drive to strive for greatness, and uh, just WBL championship is what we're really looking for. WBL championship, playoff berth, those are things contending for the WBL title, getting to the postseason, those are things that become the norm around Wapakoneta. Blake, growing up as a kid in Wapak, did, did you imagine that this would be where the Redskins football program could be? No, I, I never thought it would come to this, but I'm really excited for the season. Just ready to ready to start. Adam, we know the focus is on Bell Fountain in week one, but then you get right into the WBL, a couple tough games right off the bat. What games are you looking forward to the most this year? Um, really, I'm looking forward to all the games. I mean, I don't really have a favorite. I'm just going to take it game by game and just focus on every week. As you prepare for Bell Fountain, Adam, what, what do you feel the best about on this team right now? What do you think the strength of this team is going to be? Um, I think the strength of our team is our leadership and the experience. We have a lot of guys returning, and um, I think we, with all that experience, I mean, that's a big part of the game. So. And, Blake, Travis Moyer coming as a head coach, but a lot of the coaching staff stays the same from years past. Is that some continuity there? Or is there a new blood there? What, what what type of sense do you have of the of the coaching staff? I mean, they come to work every day too. They uh, just keep on us and really just want us to get better every day. All right, that's gonna do it for us tonight on the wa warm up. I'm trying to spit out the warm up here on WOSN. I want to thank GA Windsor and Son, our sponsor for tonight's show. And we'll have several Wapkoneta games on WOSN, including the road trip to Elida, the home game against Bath, and the big trip to St. Mary's. I want to thank all of our guests, including head coach Travis Moore. For Patrick Kamler, I'm Mark Kutz. See you next time on WOSN.